Hi friends, good evening. Today it is 26 12 2022, and the time is 8 30. And first of all, uh, Pranam to market for respecting our numbers, uh, uh, respecting our timings, and respecting our view on the market based on time. So, uh, uh, if you want to understand the timing video, kindly go to my weekly forecast video. Kindly check what we talked about the market based on time as well as based on fortune signals and based on number. Based on number. And today, all the timings in Bank Nifty literally worked well. And Nifty, only one timing not worked well. The rest others did the real magic. And apart from that, uh, Bank Nifty captured, uh, you know, it went and touched the exact our number, 42,000. Uh, 835 to 42,842. It is only seven points difference, but the seven points difference will have a major say in the market. So we never gave we never give that you know uh, you know uh, 42,300 to 42,000 you know 500 will be the resistance and all that. We give this crisp number. This is the number. This is the number, and that is where market respects because all these numbers are derived by the market itself. And that is why it is respecting those numbers. That is why it is respecting those numbers. Again, saying this video will be a little bigger. If you want to watch it, you watch it. Otherwise, it's up to you. And before watching this video, kindly go back and watch my video. Then only you will understand what I'm going to talk about. Yeah. And uh, what I mentioned yesterday was clear was 23rd was the mega combination date for Nifty and Bank Nifty, especially Nifty. And Nifty closed exactly at the solar eclipse date high, which is 25th October. 25th October 2022, uh, you know, we had a solar eclipse. On uh, Nifty closed exactly at that high. And Bank Nifty closed on 9th, uh, 9th November high, uh, which is the lunar day. The lunar, the lunar eclipse day was 8th, uh, 8th November. Uh, but the 8th November was holiday, so we need to take the next day. It closed exactly at the lunar eclipse high yesterday. And when time, both the time converged, it did the explosion. And apart from that, 23rd was a simple Amavasa day. Okay. If you don't understand or if you don't like or if you don't believe that planets will not do any wonders in stock market, then you need to learn a lot. If you think only price and candlestick do no price, no thing will do no, no, uh, no wonders in stock market, then I'm again telling you need to learn a lot because that's pure science uh, in which market is working. And we believe that it is working. So and that is why we follow that. So let's go and see all the timings in Bank Nifty and blah, 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 all the charts today. So now let's go to uh, PPT first. Okay, so this is the timing. Okay, so this is the timing, first of all. Okay, so this is the timing for Monday. This is the timing for Monday and we gave this timing on Sunday. Mon Sunday afternoon itself, we gave this timing in the webinar. And yesterday night, I made the video and all these timings was shown to you. Okay. So now let's go to the chart. Let's go to the chart. So if you go here and apart from that, uh, this is my telegram channel where I mentioned on uh, Sunday evening that full of negativity in social media. So bottom is near. So bottom is near. Follow your system. And today it literally Rock. And if you go to Nifty timing, so these are the three timings for Nifty today. First timing, the low is held. None of the candle closed below the low. It went and did well. But this candle was a timing candle, but not did well. But the third candle, which was the timing candle, came at the low and it gave a phenomenal rally. It gave a phenomenal rally. Okay. And if you go to, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, if you go to Bank Nifty, these are the timings. First timing, very small candle, gave a mega move. And this is the second one, again gave a mega move. And this is the third one, which gave a mega move. And finally, I said, this candle will be the do or die candle because the price and the time matching in this candle. See how the price matched this timing. So the price is 42,835 to 42,842. What is this 42,835? 42,835 is the one magic number for Bank Nifty future for the whole expiry of December. For the whole expiry of December. Above this number is bullish, below this number is bearish. So Bank Nifty, when it started from December expiry on 25th of November, above this number, it gave roughly around 2,000 points. And below this number, it, it went and gave roughly around 1,000 points. But again, it came and touched that number exactly, but it is not able to move even for one candle. 
and it came down you can claim that you know option uh, you know uh, call writing is there put writing is there all that is you know uh, post mortem all that is post mortem we are giving this number when the expiry starts when the expiry starts again this number which is 42842 42842 is the bullish number for this expiry for this uh, the weekly expiry from friday to thursday see how market went and touched that number and came down exactly by uh, 200 points and where the price and time converged and what is this number 42835 uh, 875 the 42875 is the weekly number for this whole week but anyway for the uh, you know uh, f and o uh, the closing will be on uh, the last thursday so this number is valid till thursday and tomorrow, if it breaks 42,875, believe me, you know, bears are going to go for a toss. So, till it is below 42,835 to 42,875, you can enjoy. But break above this, maybe 44,000 is also on the cards before the monthly expiry. And you can claim that, you know, people are going for holiday, FIs are going for holiday. All these stories, our people are talking for the last, you know, 20 years. Nothing will happen here. Nothing will happen here. Okay, people, those are holding positions. They will not, they don't, if you say that they don't care about and they will go and enjoy Christmas, God only can save you. Okay, so look, uh, the, the numbers really did the wonders and as well as it really, the timing really did the wonders. So now, uh, let's go to our fortune signals. So what we said yesterday, kindly go back and watch my video yesterday. Otherwise, you will not understand what I'm going to tell you now. Okay, so what we told yesterday, Whenever you get a magical candle, what is this magical candle? Any candle closes below this red color line. If the low of this candle is held, you will see phenomenal move on the upside. Phenomenal move on the upside. Okay. So the criteria is it should hold this low. That is why it is called a magical candle. Okay. So this is Nifty, but Nifty is not closed above this candle high. But Bank Nifty, if you see, Again, it is also gave a magical candle, but see the run. See the run. So this is on daily. If you go to Bank Nifty today in one minute, today in one minute, so it gave a buy at 42,100, uh, sorry, 41,880, 41,880, because after it gave a buy, you need to wait for one candle to close above it, and this candle closed above it. So you bought it at roughly around 41,890. You can take it 41,900 also. And from there, and from there, there is no sell candle even in one minute. And always remember, whenever it, after that, whenever it comes and touches the blue color line and the red color line, and where if all the four, so we call, uh, I call this blue color line is Brahma, the red color line is Shiva, uh, Vishnu, and uh, this uh, pink color line is Shakti, which holds the key. And uh, this line is Shiva. So when all the four is getting merged, that is where you will see explosion. That is where you will see explosion. So all the number converged or the price converged at all the you know gods. I call it as a god's name. So whenever it came and took the Ashirwa from the god, this is how you will see the moon. See the move after that. Here the stop loss is very small. The stop loss is hardly 60-70 points. But for 60-70 points, it has given more than 600 points. And in the evening, around uh, 325, you need to exit your position. So it gave a sell here. So 52,559, you exited. You made roughly around 700 points without any emotion. Without any emotion. Because there is no red candle which you have seen after you bought it. So it keeps keep, take care of your emotion. It takes care of your emotion. If I close this, then obviously you will be feeling, you know, red color, blue color, and all that. Blah 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 blah. blah. But if I keep this, there is nothing to it. And if you go to Nifty in one minute, the same thing happened. Uh, it gave a buy at uh, forty-one thousand, uh, sorry, seventeen thousand eight hundred sixty-five. It went up, went up, and it gave a sell. What happened now? when it gave a sell? After it gave a sell, none of the candle closed below this low. It means it is a fake sell to sell weak bulls out of the system. Weak bulls out of the system. So it gave a fake sell. 
again it went up. This gave a magical candle, came down, took the support at the blue, went up exactly, took the Ashirwad from Shakti, okay, touched the Shakti sweet and came down exactly. After touching the Shakti sweet, came down, took the again Ashirwad from all the Brahma, Vishnu, Shivan. See how market looks like this. Brahma, Vishnu, Shivan took the Ashirwad from here and the move started. The move started. And again, it came here and we need to exit in this candle, which is 18,003. Okay. Without any oscillation, you could have captured all these points if you are doing intraday. This is only for intraday. Okay, not for positional. Let's talk about positional. So positional is 5 minutes and 15 minutes. That is based on your risk profile. Okay. So now, if you go to 15 minutes, in 15 minutes, it has given a sell uh, in uh, around 18,544, 18,544, and after that, this was the buy. But again, this is a trap because none of the candle closed above this high candle. So this is just a trap. This is just a trap. So came down, came down, and today it gave a buy. It gave a buy, but none of the candle closed above the buy because for positional. Whenever it gives a buy for positional, whenever it gives the buy, the candle, any candle after that, it has to close above minimum 10 points above the buy candle high. So this buy candle high is for 18,076, 18,076. So it should become genuine only if any candle closes above 18,086 till that time it is a trap only, till that time it is a trap only. So none of the candle closed above 18,086 after this candle. So till in bank in Nifty, it is not a genuine buy in 15 minutes. It is not a genuine buy in 15 minutes. But if you go to bank Nifty, it gave a buy. It become genuine in this candle, went up. So now if you are a positional player, kindly wait for it to come and touch 42,350 and take the initiation. Or uh, suddenly if the market goes above from here, whenever it comes and touches the blue color line, you can take a call. So this is positional. And in Bank Nifty, if you go and see, it gave a sell in 15 minutes at uh, 43,785. 43,785 and it become genuine at 43,616. And it gave roughly around 2,000 points in uh, Bank Nifty in 15 minutes. It came down. Again, it gave a buy. It is a fake buy to send all the big players of short players all went home and it started falling and today it gave a buy. Today it gave a genuine buy. So this is what we did and again I am saying even though uh, Bank Nifty has given a buy to counters uh, in case if Bank Nifty has to move big from here two companies are going to do wonders in this one is HDFC and HDFC Bank and you can add even Axis Bank. See why I am telling you this because if you go to Bank Nifty in daily and this is what I, I explained everything in my weekly webinar. Uh, see, this is the magical candle because this candle flows to below this red color line and today it went up like this. But if you go to HDFC, it does not even came near to that blue color line. So this shows the strength. This shows the strength. And if you go to HDFC bank also, it does not even came near to this number. So this shows the strength. But if you go to ICIC bank, it came and touched the blue 100 and took the support here. So compared to ICICI Bank, HDFC and HDFC Bank really uh, will do the wonders in the coming month in case if the Bank Nifty is going to move up from further uh, from here and all the PSU banks, the Chota Mota banks, everything was again literally rocking. So be a little bit skeptical about all the you know uh, Chota Mota companies as of now. Try to first concentrate on the bigger companies as of now then you can get into all the Chota Mota companies because suddenly if there is one, one day fall of 200, 300 points in Nifty, then all these you know, Chota Mota companies again go for downtrends. And that is what we have seen in the last two, three days. The panic was you know, more. And if you go to uh, Nifty Midcap, so this was the sell in daily. And again, this is the fake sell. Why? Because none of the candle close to below the cell candle low. 
So it is a fake sell to send everybody out of the system in uh, mid cap. And if you go to small cap, Okay, get a given BSC index. So again, here, none of the candle close to below the sell candle low. So see, this is the fake signal to exit, to, to send the weak bulls out of the system. So as of now, Nifty, Bank Nifty, uh, small cap, mid cap, whatever cap is not given any genuine sell till now in daily. So the trend is still intact. Let the people talk about anything about 14,000, 12,000, 11,000, even zero to Nifty also. Don't believe anybody. Stay with your system. So now let's go and talk about the tomorrow's PPT. Okay. So now, first of all, uh, tomorrow, uh, the trend change date counters are m &M Finance, ZL and Glenmark. ZL and Glenmark. Okay. And today I've already marked two companies are the trend change date, JK Cement and Ipka Lab. Apart from that, Two miracle uh, dates happened uh, in uh, Divi and the Jubilee Foot. So kindly mark the higher low of Jubilee Foot and uh, Divi's today. Break below today's low. May more pain. Break above today's high. Ever. Okay. So now let's go to uh, Bank Nifty. So this is a number and this is where it went and touched. This is where it went and touched today. So again, break above these two number. It will fly again. And in case if it comes down tomorrow, this number will act as a support. This number will act as a, uh, sorry, this, these three will act as a resistance. This three will act as a resistance for tomorrow. Okay. And uh, Band 50, uh, based on the weekly spot number, it gave a buy at 41.949 and it went and achieved the target till 42.849. So two more uh, uh, you know, targets are there to achieve for this complete week. We have four more days to go. So whenever it breaks and closes above 42.958, I will give my uh, the extra targets because all the thousand points it done on the single day itself. And coming to Nifty, Nifty has given a buy at 17,924 and uh, it went and achieved up to 18,084. Our number was 18,034. So the next all these numbers, but Nifty is having a lot of resistance, a lot of resistance. So watch out for Nifty, but anyway, it is also coming by. Uh, again, in case if it goes up, uh, you know, all these still Nifty is not out of the woods. Still Nifty is not out of the woods. Brand Nifty is looking a little bit better. Okay. And uh, coming to uh, Tuesday, this is the timing for Tuesday. So kindly have a watch for Tuesday timings. And uh, uh, this is actually, uh, which I talked about, 23rd is a mega date, combination date. With the combination of solar eclipse in uh, Nifty, lunar eclipse in Bank Nifty, plus the moon day, which is Amavasa on 23rd. Okay. And coming to numbers. So this is the weekly number for this week till Friday. Okay. So what happened? After it, uh, the Bank Nifty, once it went above 41,764, it went, sorry, 41,865. It exactly went and touched this number, 42,842. That is the high today. That is the high today. What is this number? This number is the bullish number for the expiry. For the expiry. I'm talking about from Friday to coming Thursday. Exactly it went and went and touched this number. And this number we gave Friday morning. Friday morning. Right? See how market. See, even here, it has not went below this number. All these numbers was respected by the Nifty on the lawyer side. Nifty as well as in Bank Nifty. Okay, Bank Nifty respected this number. So nothing close to below this number. And today it went and touched this number. It went and touched this number. Exact to the dot, 42,842. That's the number it works. Okay, so now till Nifty is not going to go below this numbers or Bank Nifty, nothing to worry about in Bank Nifty on a weekly friend from Monday to Friday. Okay. And till it is above this number, it is bullish. And once it crosses this number, Bank Nifty, it is highly bullish. And Nifty, if it goes above, it will face resistance here. Okay. So then, if Bank Nifty crosses this number, then where is the resistance? 42,867. Then where is the resistance? The resistance is here. The first resistance is 43,309. And the second resistance is 43,793. That's all. You don't need any option strategies. You don't need any option chain analysis to do all this. 
number knows everything, your option strategies will be built based on this number. Based on this number. And that is why I always say these numbers are gifted by God. Because all these numbers are derived based on the combination of 369 in which the market works. In which the market works. Again, I am telling you, if you take the difference between these two numbers, if you add all those numbers, it will be 9 or 6 or 3. That is why I always say that these numbers are derived by the market on its own and that is why it is respecting its own numbers. Hope you got it. Okay, so the next important trend change date is happening only on 29th till that time. Enjoy the show. Uh, nothing more to add. Again, saying I'm not a savvy resistant investment advisor. So kindly do your homework or consult your financial advisors before taking any financial uh, decision. See you soon tomorrow at 9.07. Today, magically, it was the 9.07 number, uh, 9.30 futures number. Everything literally rocked today. So the entire pranam to market because we are all puppets here. Whatever it says, uh, you know, we are doing and you know, we need to be disciplined with the market because it is nothing but God. It is nothing but God. So be disciplined. It, it punishes you many, many times. No problem. Uh, let the God is only punishing us. Uh, let him punish us. Because uh, when he is punishing you, that he wants to teach something to you. So you need to take it in that way. Today, we, I booked many losses in my you know, stocks, which I bought in you know, uh, you know, small caps and you know, mid caps predominantly. So when it, when, when it went up today, I booked a few losses. So nothing more to say, you know, when it is going below your system, you need to exit. Unfortunately, it has it has given some pullback today. So I exited some of the counters. So let's see how the market is going to behave from here. And till it holds 23rd low, nothing to panic in the market. Enjoy the show. And I has already told you that till it is going to, uh, Nifty is going to hold 17,956. My target is 21,500. So let's see whether it's going to happen on or before. 29th January 2023, which is our D day for Nifty for 2023. See you soon tomorrow with the magical number in Nifty. Good night.